Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations 2. When we last left off, we were hiking in the mountains with our new friend Jessica. And that was fun, till we ran into some rabid uh, wolves. But, uh, you know, you can't have everything. Anyway, let's continue. <clears throat> On this nightmarish Inferno run. Oh, yeah. Well, we've just been knocked out. Jill? Parker. Where are you? I don't know. A room, I think. <laughs> Somewhere on the ship. Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No. Comms are as it seems. We should regroup. We're in a room, we think. Yep, I would say we're definitely in a room. Right. Get this moving. Well, to be fair, Jill, if it was me and I'd woke, been knocked out and woke up in a in a room uh, by myself, I would be checking myself for all of my organs. But you know, that's just me. I'm sure there's a few there that I don't need. Hmm. Filled with dirty water. Maybe there's something at the bottom. Now, this is really interesting. If... Look, I'm going to show this. See that there's a, a screwdriver in the toilet. If we actually restart from the last checkpoint... This is interesting. Right, we don't need to see that again. I don't know. A room, I think. Somewhere on the ship. Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you reach HQ? No. Comms are as it seems. We should regroup. Okay. We don't care. Right, okay. So now, if we go back in here again... Uh, but we don't open the toilet. But we open the... Well, we drain the tub. Ah, how strange is that? Right, maybe it's a random chance then. Because sometimes it's tapes under there. That's really bizarre. Um, in my last two tests of this level, <laughs> it was taped under there. But I always drained the tub first. So I'm wondering if there's some way of manipulating it. But yeah, interesting. Not sure why there's... Uh, a couple of different ways there, but there we go. God, dickbag. Yes, let's be having ya. This game's gonna now teach us how to dodge very poorly. Come on, dude. Right. Well, he's gonna go take a bit of a nap. Hey, we got some legendary parts. You don't look so good there, Chief. It's rather humiliating, isn't it? Right, let's get this done. Now, on the uh, 3DS, you actually had to do this puzzle on the touchscreen. Including taking the screws out, which was pretty cool. Now, we're going to want to get our running shoes on here. Uh, we've totally balked that up. There we go. We can notice our friend is getting back up, but that's okay. Now, we've got a lot of friends here. Jill, you can't fight without a weapon. Is that right? Just do your best to dodge. Oh. Well, that's not good. We got an explodey boy. Was there an explodey boy in, the, in, in this room last time? I mean, probably. Hey friend, come on, let's get a, ooh, let's get a wiggle on, we don't all have all day. Now there's two enemies uh, down that corridor, but if we actually go through here and come back out, we can reset them. 
which is actually a really useful tip but you've got no weapons Ooh. yeah the enemies are different here the enemies are different ow um, F to get up <laughs> right let's move shall we yeah I did not have bloater enemies on my I did not have bloater enemies and I did not have those um, armored sword guys when I played this last time so there's a bit of randomizing going on here that's curious and that dodge didn't work Ugh, they're not gonna work every time Bloater again? Does that mean we're going to have the sword guy again? Ooh, I haven't been practicing dodging the sword guys. So this is going to be rather rough. But that's okay. It does get a lot easier when we get some weapons. I right, definitely want to get these guys to disappear. Ooh. Ooh would you look at that? Very nice. Also, don't remember that being there, but it's me talking like, "Oh, look at this guy!" Turn around, dude. Yep, he's gonna grab me. Get up, get up, Jill. We'll get around him. Oof, that was rough. <laughs> that was really freaking rough, man. Those guys suck large quantities of gonad juice. Just saying. Uh, ah, cool. Okay. Let's go regroup with Parker down here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure later on they take your weapons away from you again. But the ship's crawling with POWs. Okay, we're going to need our weapons. I think I saw them on my way here, but I couldn't reach them. We should be okay as long as we work together. Alright, you got it, boss. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go get our weapons. Wait, there are more creatures this way. I found this, though. Think we can use it? Yeah, uh. it just might do the trick. Oh. Oh, come on. Jill, you dodged the wrong way, Jill. Yeah, now that's one issue that I did actually have before. Um, sometimes, if you dodge, what can actually happen is uh, Jill will just turn around in a random direction. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Yeah, Jill will turn around in a random direction, and because of that... <laughs> <laughs> You'll end up turning around and coming back the way you came. That's bad, as we can see. Right, let's grab these parts. Let's go get our guns. Oh, Guns and a weapon locker. Don't mind if I do. Got our scanner back now as well, of course. Now, we're going to switch our weapons up a little bit here. So, we've got a damage plus three, and we've got a burst three. A damage one. Damage one's not fantastic, but we'll take it. Now, hmm. <sighs> we could actually take the PSG one, because it does fire a lot faster. Or... We could just make this weapon faster. Load capacity isn't super important because we've got charge shot. Lo uh, load speed is quite useful. What we are going to do, we're going to swap this because we don't really need this gun. Uh, so, might strip these mods off it for now. We kind of need a handgun, to be honest. 
And the government is probably the way forward. Now, it only holds uh, four bullets, which seems like it would be a problem. But we are going to put damage five on it, which drastically increases its damage. We're also going to put burst three, which fires five shots with one trigger pull. Um, okay. Now, I would like to also... Right, see, we've got... Let's take some of these off these. Let's get all of our weapon parts. See, 100% stopping power might be useful. Because we're going to take the Hydra. I am tempted at that, you know. Definitely tempted. Right, so we've got a powerful handgun. It's a shame we can't put a load capacity on there. Oh, we can, actually. There we go, six shots. Um, now. I'm going to swap this out as well. What we're going to do, I'm going to swap that out for the Hydra, because having a shotgun is probably more useful here. A uh, long magazine might be nice. Stopping power could be nice. Putting enemies into a daze could also be nice. Two shots. Now, charging the gun might be useful, but I th think we're probably going to put low capacity. Eh, do you want low capacity? I mean, we've got five shots. Fire rate could be more useful. Could have burst on it, I suppose. Or charge shot. The only thing is, I don't know how much damage the charge shot does. But we could go for that two shot burst. Now we're going to be expending more ammo, but it is what it is. So we're going to take. Yeah, we can't upgrade. I don't think we really need that. Load capacity plus 20. Charge shot is nice. We could potentially we take that off. Yeah, so we can't stack these sadly. But we can up the fire rate. Which does increase it by a reasonable amount. Charge shot too, sadly, we can't put on there. So instead of reload, we could go for, yeah, plus 100% ammo. Okay. Now, I'm not sure with this government weapon... we fire five shots yeah it does kind of fire them all at once but that's okay we do now we contact HQ and tell them what the hell is going on oh now because handgun ammo is relatively plentiful 
shot grenade is nice. Now we want to save our shot grenades. Lock from the other side. Now we could actually go back. Yeah. So this is where Parker was. Okay. Now I'm not convinced that having a five round burst on this gun is going to be worth it. But it is what it is. Right, so grab some rifle ammo. Grab a hand grenade, that's definitely useful. Because we're kind of expending all of our bullets in one go. However, smoke them if you got them. However, expending most of your ammo in one go, you are doing, what is it, 300, so 700, 1400. You're doing nearly 2000 damage trigger pull. So it's not bad, considering how available this ammo is. I mean, if we decide it's not worth it, we can always swap it out another time. Now, I'm not sure... ...if... ...this gun... ...yeah. I can say if this gun is going to be worth ooh let's get rid of him too yeah that two round burst is definitely where it's at right now there's something in the clock but it doesn't appear until we get really close uh, maybe items are slightly randomised then machine gun ammo because there was something in the clock in my last playthrough. But I'm not really sure. Maybe it's randomised, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Well, we are going to live with this Genesis device. Literally taped to our face. Because that is how we're going to win. At least that's the theory. Come on, Parker. But nobody left in this room. Did we kill them all in this room? Kind of looks like it. Happy with that. I was going to say, it looks like a book we can read. Botany. Plants with medicinal properties. Third edition. Humans have been using plants to heal wounds and cure disease ever since ancient times. An example of one of these types of plants is a herb that grows wild in the Arkley Mountain area. The bright green herb not only heals fatigue, but it also helps to strengthen the natural healing process so that wounds heal faster. In addition, it has an active immune function that can be extremely useful against viral infection. The medical applications are vast and they are already starting to be used in the field. Please consider supplying yourselves with these herbs in order to protect yourself and your family from the recent threat of bioterrorism. Probably not a not bad shout, actually. Imagine those herbs are growing everywhere. Right, so we've got some more custom parts. Now, where's that spearfish motherfucker? Oh, oh god, we've got one there, haven't we? Yeah, we're definitely getting different enemies. Which is kind of strange. Definitely getting different enemies. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. So when I was playing this, my other video, uh, we just had a normal ooze climb out. Come on, big boy. There we go. Okay, not bad. Definitely could have been worse. 
Shot grenade. Yeah, so shot grenades, we need to save them all up for the underwater beasties. At least we have to save the overwhelming majority of them up. But that's fine. Getting a nice chunk of shotgun shells as well, which is good. Good, we like this. We like this a lot. Come on, Parker. You know what would help Parker, actually? If you'd use your scanner jig too. Now, I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure you've got one. It doesn't have to be me that does all the scanning. There is two of us. Take a lot less time. But of course, no. Okay. Now, we could go back through the cabins and the stuff that we've already done, but, you know. That seems somewhat foolish. Right. Ready? Okay. Ole, motherfucker! Oof! How does it feel? Bitch. Right, okay. Oof. We're certainly expending some of that old handgun ammo, aren't we? Oh, hello. Um, we have options here. Ooh, right. Blow a fucking bowl of spaghetti through you, boy. Good old Parker taking one for the team there. A regular champion. Some might say a hero. Some might say. Now, the good thing with using the rifle is there is a hell of a lot of rifle ammo in this game. Now, let's see if this sack of shit is still there. He is. Out the way, Parker. Come on, buddy. We going high or we going low, friend? High or low, friend? Missed. Let's try and reset the room. Now, what you can actually do here is you can stab him through the room. Ow. But obviously, it doesn't always work. Got him. That was uncomfortable. I don't think we got a scan on him either, which is unfortunate, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Also expending a hell of a lot of health. But again, that's just the way this game is. Right, we shouldn't have to fight this guy. Let's go into this room. Now, what do we have in here? Now, a problem we have is those enemies are both by the door. Which is definitely a bit of an issue. Now, we can... There's something unsettling about the waves. Now, there used to be a little exploit that we could use. Oh, hey, guys. See, that's a prime example there of me trying to escape. But instead of escaping forwards, uh, the game just kind of threw me <laughs> into a random direction there. Oh, hey, friend.
Yeah, Parker, if you could make him explode. So that I, like, don't have to. That would be pretty cool of you, just saying. Yeah, that's it. Just keep shooting him. Keep shooting him, Parker. You got this. You got this. Go on, you crazy diamond. Yeah. I... Oh, maybe. He's starting to swell. Parker? No? My job again? My job again? Parker, how are you missing him? That's my question. Yeah, this looks like you did some kind of critical hit. I could do this all day, Parker. Uh, I'm going to have to use my bullets, aren't I? Alright, let's go check this room. Knew it. Good night. Oof. Well, nice. Be nice to start building up, oh, building up some of that health that we've lost. Five handgun bullets. Doesn't seem like a lot, but like I said, it's better than having no hang-up bullets. Right. <laughs> Alright, come on, Parker. Let's just go, bud. Let's just go. Uh, we can't go through there yet. Got nothing in here. Okay. Right, let's beep the boop. And go, Daddy, go. How are you feeling, Parker? You starting to wish that you brought an actual gun and not your children's toy? Let's go to the bridge. I mean, I wish you'd brought a gun and not a children's toy. Certainly would have been uh, more beneficial to me. And I know. Right? I know. It's not all about me. But, dude, someone's been here. Yep. I guess they have. Now, oh, do we have any goodies? We got some shotgun shells. I mean, shotgun shells are always fun. Hey! Not bad. Right, so... Yeah, we're fairly healthy, ammo-wise. Okay. I'm at the bridge. Oh. Right. Well. That's delightful. Yeah, let's not anger that thing. Communication system is down. We can't change our course. We're completely adrift. This is reason. The perpetrator can't be far. Don't tell me that was the tugboat. Shit, we'll be stuck here. Raymond. Freeze, drop the weapon. Drop yours, Parker. Who the hell are you? One ugly motherfucker is who he is. Right. Chapter two. Well, that's two down. Two chapters down, ten to go.
happy with that. Mm, now, I'm trying to decide, shall I continue with this? Probably not. I need to uh, get some Skies of Arcadia recorded, I think. Well, I've enjoyed this. Uh, <laughs> trouble is now, it's going to be a week until I can play it again. But, you know, I've enjoyed, uh, I've enjoyed our little, little romp thus far. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And when we come back... Well, more pain. Till then, thanks for watching.